guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with my September favorites. I know I'm a little bit late, actually a lot late. It's already October 12th. You guys know I am so OCD about posting on the 31st or the 30th, latest the first, but I was away and then I was just kind of taking like a staycation, just like a mini vacation here, just rebalancing myself and getting myself situated. I guess you can call this my current beauty favorites, but I have a huge smile on my face because I just found out that I hit 200,000 subscribers. I am so excited and so happy. I've been checking it all day, yesterday and all day today. I finally hit 200K. I remember the exact moment when I hit 100K, 150K, and now 200, and it's just an amazing feeling, so thank you. I will be announcing the winner to the Tarte giveaway in the description bar of this video, and I will have my 200K giveaway very, very soon on my channel. Just Give me a minute to get all the prizes together and go out and buy you guys some stuff, some goodies. Just know that I am so incredibly happy because of you guys. I just feel like it's an accomplishment, so thank you again. I know I have tons of videos to film, like my head is about to explode. Uh, next up for sure has to be my Morphe favorites video. I know you guys are like beating me up on Snapchat because of it, because I haven't posted it, but Morphe brushes is coming up, a hair care video is also coming up, and the 200k giveaway, I want to do some more tutorials, some more collaborations, there's just a lot. I also want to finish and continue my getting started on YouTube, I want to do a video on like the camera I use and the lighting, and then another video on how to grow your Instagram channel and your YouTube channel, so those are all coming up, so please, please, please bear with me, be patient with me. I've been freelancing a lot, if you check out my Instagram, I don't post every client, but I feel like the more I do makeup on my clients, the more I'm really learning what products I love. So, so without further ado, let's get started. First product I want to mention is a primer. I've been obsessed with this primer. Literally have to go buy another one. I don't know if it's almost out, but it feels like it's running out. I use it every single time I do my makeup now, and I do use it on my clients as well. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. I was watching Carly Bybel, her favorites video, I think it was her last favorites video, and I was like, oh my god, I love that too. It literally fills in your pores right away, like boom, instantly. You can see the pores getting filled, and it just really makes your makeup look amazing. It says it minimizes pores, absorbs oil, and it mattifies. So it does really mattify. I am pretty dry slash normal, but I do get a little bit oily depending on the foundation that I'm using and what I'm doing throughout the day. So I concentrate this on my nose and on my pores, like right over here I have larger pores. And my foundation has never looked this good. I use this with any foundation, whether it's a dewy one or an oily one, I love this. You can find this at Sephora. I remember having a little sample of this, but it wasn't the same. For some reason, the like full size bottle is always better. And this is for oily combination skin, but I don't find that it dries out my skin because the Becca one that's the mattifying can dry out my skin because again, I am pretty normal. A pump is enough and it does kind of have like a medicine smell, which makes me feel like it's really, really working too. But what I love about this is that you can also use it when you're not wearing foundation or not wearing a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer, you can just do this alone. So if you're in high school or in college or you're a mom, basically I feel like everyone's in a rush. But if you're in a rush in the morning and you don't want to put foundation, you can just pump a couple of pumps and apply this all over and you're going to look flawless without foundation, which is awesome. It does have a tint to it, but it doesn't show up on your face. And it's very soft. It almost feels like a souffle. I don't know. It's really weird. You have to try it. It really works instantly. Like before your eyes, you're seeing your pores get smaller, which is always a plus. Sticking with the whole face products, I want to talk about this foundation. I've been using the Dior Nude Taint Eclat Nude Skin Glowing Makeup with Sunscreen. I have this in the shade 30. This does have an SPF of 15, but I did take flash pictures with this once and I didn't have any flashback. Usually SPF can give you that like ghostly white flashback when you take pictures with a flash, but I didn't find that it gave me that. I saw this on Michelle Ready Set Glam. I saw this on her YouTube and I ran out and bought it at Saks and this does have a pump. She described this beautifully. I mean, it just gives you a flawless face. I have it on right now. I am just so obsessed with how it looks. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look too dry. It doesn't look too matte. Now, this is a bit more on the dewy side, but I find that I don't get dewy unless I'm like hot or sweating or I've had it on for more than five hours. This lasts so long. I use this for 
Like if I'm going out or events, I love how it photographs. I love how it looks in person. It reminds me a lot of the YSL Touche Eclat and the Lancome Saint Miracle. I feel like it's those two combined, but with a little more coverage. I've been into more full coverage foundations. Another foundation that I have been loving is the Cover FX Cream Foundation. I have this in the shade G30, but it is a pinch too light. And if you are a true OG subscriber, you know that I used this in the first video that I ever uploaded. And it's just a cream foundation. Now this stuff is very thick. And even though it's a little too light, I still use it because the way that I use it is that I take a foundation brush... I swirl it in there like crazy and then I just start like painting my face but I don't really blend it out with the brush and while it's still kind of there and wet I will take a beauty blender and either this foundation or the Makeup Forever foundation or Giorgio Armani pretty much any like dewy foundation and I take a beauty blender and I'll just add it on top and it will blend the cream, the liquid and everything just into one foundation. Really all that's gonna do is give you like a full coverage and this stuff alone is full coverage. It can look a little bit dry or a little like cakey if I use it alone just because I do have normal dry skin so I like adding a dewy foundation on top. If I'm going to an event, if I know I'm gonna be taking photographs with flash or without flash I like to look full coverage. It's the type of foundation look that looks like while she has foundation on. Like it's not for girls who want that like no makeup makeup look. No, no. If you find that your foundation isn't really showing up in pictures, try adding like a cream foundation underneath your foundation and it's going to change your world. Next up, let's talk about another face product that I've been abusing and I have put Charlene Char Makeup. If you don't follow her, you should. That's like my bestie. We both are obsessed with this. We take this when we freelance and we're just abusing it. This is the Pixie by Petra Makeup Fixing Mist with Rose Water and Green Tea. A subscriber actually told me about this. Sent me a picture of this and was like, you're welcome in advance. Thank you so much. This has changed the game. It literally makes my foundation and my makeup look flawless. It really just sets the makeup and it makes the powders not look like powders everything just settles in I guess you can say it's like a substitute for MAC Fix Plus but I feel like this works way better and this is drugstore you can find this at Target kind of has like a floral scent if you're not really into scents then I wouldn't go for it it's not tested on animals it says it comforts protects and increases hydration and balances skin for a fresh face this not only makes my makeup look better but I feel like it lasts longer even though it's not really marketed as a setting spray it's a hydrating antioxidant pore tightening spray but i feel like it lasts longer with this so i just shake it up and just go to town i still love my tatcha dewy skin spray but i'm actually out of it I have like one spray left so i've just been abusing this one i'm sorry for the high-end product overload in this video but this blush is from charlotte tilbury this is their chic to chic swish and pop blusher i love that it's blusher in the shade First Love. I am so obsessed with this. It is so pretty. It kind of looks like an egg or <laughs> something else. I have it on right now. It's just so like natural looking but if you use a lot of that like middle color it gives you a nice like peachy rosy tint. I just like it because it's like fresh faced and almost like flesh toned. Not too orange, not too peachy. Kind of have been like restricting myself from using peaches. And I just love this blush. I'm just obsessed with it. You can just like swirl it all over and just go to town. And I love the look that it gives. I feel like this looks like Warm Soul by MAC but without the shimmer and glitter. So it is matte but it does give you like a little bit of sheen. I just really like it. I love the packaging. I love Charlotte Tilbury products. So love this blush. I've been using it a lot lately. And then for a highlight combo, I've been obsessed <laughs> with this one. This is the Mirabella Highlight in Swirling Pearl. This is their mineral highlighting powder. I talked about it in my highlight collection video. Um, I said that, you know, not a lot of people talk about it. Not a lot of people know about Mirabella. But this highlight is amazing. I do have it on right now. And like, look how beaming it is. It is a perfect pearlesque color I'm so obsessed with it it swatches okay like I don't know if you guys can really see that but on the face like beaming this is very comparable to opal but it's a little bit lighter in color so I feel like it flatters my skin tone a lot better I've been reaching for this one because of the color but also because of the consistency it is very thin it is very like silky to touch and it just picks up really nicely i've been using the anastasia 
highlighting brush, the A23. I use it today. I do love this brush, but I find that it doesn't work with every single highlight, like the Becca ones. It doesn't really work that well, in my opinion. Works great with the Anastasia highlights. I do have a video coming up on all of the illuminators. But um, yeah, I do love my uh, fan brush with this. I feel like this one you can just use with any type of brush or even your fingers. And it gives you that like glowy, dewy, fresh face. But another highlight that I like to add right on top or alone is this MAC Eyeshadow in Sweet Heat. Now my friend Nicolette, she works at MAC and she told me about this. It's one of their In Extra Dimension eyeshadows. I was able to pick this up at Saks because most MAC stores don't have this. But you can also get it online. Again, it's called Sweet Heat. And it is so beautiful. This one's also very comparable to Opal. If you like to use tan pigment or melon from MAC, then you're probably one of those girls that likes more of a pigmented highlight and not so much of a pearl or a shell base. So you would probably really like this one because it is colored. Because I am not super duper tan, when I use this on my nose highlight, sometimes it just looks kind of dark. Like it looks great from certain lights, but you can see like the strip. So I like this just on the cheeks, just on top of the highlight to give it that punch. And it's amazing and again this brush works really well for these kind of like rigid rigid is that the word I'm looking for like wavy <laughs> powders so I love this you should try it out a lot of you guys have also snapped me that you bought it and you love it so that makes me so happy definitely give it a try if you have it next up is kind of random but it's a lash glue and this is the Revlon precision lash glue this is the white bottle I don't like the black one for some reason the dark adhesive does not work for me I love this one mine is all messy I ran out of my house of lashes glue and I started using this one again and I fell back in love it is very very similar to house of lashes if you haven't tried that one definitely pick this one up it's drugstore it's about five dollars and it works like a charm what I like about this one is that you don't have to wait too long for it to dry actually you shouldn't wait too long because it actually like dries up so what I do with this one is I put it on and I don't wait like 10 minutes to put on my lashes like with house of lashes I can forget that I put glue on my lashes and then just like pop them on later but with this one you can't forget because Charlene has been here she put this glue she like forgot to put on her lashes and she had to reapply the glue which can be a little annoying because it kind of builds up but I'm so used to waiting for my lash glue to get really 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 sticky and tacky and dry almost that I kind of forget with this one but it's definitely a plus for everyone else. It has like a brush on applicator which is really convenient. I can never go back to just using tubes for some reason. With any of these like brush on glues, the only con is that they get really messy so you have to constantly be cleaning this because you put this in your makeup bag and you have glue everywhere which is so annoying to get off. But this glue is hands down the best at the drugstore. I like this way better than Duo. If you're using Duo, try this out life will be changed. Next up for lip products is the lip color that I'm wearing right now. This is the, I think it's new, it's the Galactic Matte Lip Paint in the color Bashful. I've been using this like nobody's business. I use this also for Gen Beauty and everybody was like, oh my god, what lip color is that? It is matte, so I have a lot of lines on my lips and no matter what liquid lipstick I use, they're always going to show, so it can look a little dry on me, but it is the most comfortable liquid lipstick I have. It's very comparable to the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks if you're familiar with that formula where it's very smooth, very creamy. This is what the color Bashful looks like. It is so pretty. I love Girlactic. Technically, they're drugstore because you can find them at certain Rite Aids. You can get these online. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have trouble finding them at like Rite Aid, but there is like a store locator if you go on the website so you can try to locate it if it's nearby. But this color is perfection. I love it. Again, it's called Bashful and it's so pretty. Next favorite are these Tarte Fresh Eyes Maracuja Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover Wipes. Comes with 30 pre-moistened wipes and this removes waterproof eye makeup. I love these wipes. They just take everything off. Now, if I'm using the Inglot Gel Liner, which most of the times I am, I do have to use a little bit of like Lancome Remover right underneath, like after I shower. There'll be just a little bit of residue, but... That's like totally okay with me because other wipes don't take everything off. These remind me of like the strong power of the MAC wipes but without the stinging and burning. These do not burn at all. They are super moist and they're not too expensive. If you are a lazy girl like me then you don't like removing your makeup. 
this makes it a lot easier. I'm not really into using like coconut oil or any oil pretty much. I'm not like a DIY, do-it-yourself, coconut oil removing kind of girl. It's just not my thing. If you have any product that you recommend for removing makeup that you haven't seen me mention, let me know. I'm always on the hunt. Those wipes definitely make my life a lot easier because I do like to use waterproof makeup. So I'm always on the hunt for more makeup removing for my face and for my eyes. But those wipes have been the business. Next up, a body product. This is the Soap & Glory Clean On Me Creamy Moisture Shower Gel. This is like the mini size. They were announcing that they were now being carried at Ulta. So I got like a little set of the Righteous Butter. This, I can't remember what else, but I fell in love with this. This is such a thick body wash. I took this with me to Pennsylvania. I can honestly say this made me feel so squeaky clean. I don't think I've ever felt so clean. Obviously, I love Bath & Body Works shower gels and Victoria's Secret body washes and caress, but this doesn't make me dry. Like when I get out of the shower, I'm not like, oh my god, I need to put on lotion really quick. And it smells so good. If you smell Soap & Glory Righteous Butter or their exfoliator, you know that they are notorious for their scent. This little bottle has been lasting me a long time, so I have to go out and buy the large size. I love their body lotion, body cream body exfoliator. Soap and Glory is pretty much the only thing that I use on my body. I can definitely say that. This is like the only body wash I want to use. The Righteous Butter, I'm pretty much out of it. I have to go buy that too. So Soap and Glory, use it good. Favorite perfume for the month was the Tom Ford Black Orchid. This is like an acquired smell. I feel like it's very different. It's very strong. You literally just need one spray, but every time I use it, it's just like a type of smell that like lures people in and they're like, what are you wearing? I love this perfume. This little tiny bottle has lasted me so long, again, because you don't really need too much. This is the 30 ml. Very pricey, but so worth it. If you want to smell like a designer store or like a department store, just like very luxurious, you will love this. I like this one better than the Velvet Orchid, although I do want to get that one too. But the Black Orchid was definitely my favorite. If you're in Sephora or Nordstrom or Saks or anywhere else that carries Tom Ford, I guess like the higher end department stores, give it a whiff. It is amazing. Or you could just trust me and order it. If you like my perfume recommendations, you will love this one. Again, very pricey, but so worth it. You deserve to smell good. Okay. My favorite, 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 favorite song as of lately has been White Iverson. I am so obsessed with this song. song is Jumpman by Drake featuring Future. Jumpman, 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 that boy's up to something. Huh, uh, uh, I think I need some Robitussin. Way too many. Next song is Where You At by Future featuring Drake. You see a pattern? I've been loving Drake lately. Just saying. <laughs> Next favorite song was definitely Jealous by Beyonce. I had this song on repeat for the longest. I just love this song. Beyonce kills it. I feel like this song is so underestimated. My penthouse had naked. I cooked this meal for you naked. So where the hell you at? It's just you and me. So you can feel this feeling. Get on myself. Baby girl, you can't survive like this. Next song is Por Que Cambiar Jody Boy featuring Plambe. <laughs> Next song is Say You Love Me but the Alex Adair remix by Jesse Ware. I need a girl from 
from Kentucky. You ain't got the juice like that. She's just a little too perfect. She's just a little too worth it. Oh, my computer is acting up right now. Oh. It's freaking Wi Fi, man. Is it because of me, you think? No. Si necesitas reggaeton, dale. Sigue bailando, mami, no pare. Hasta que está mi pantalón. I just wanted to address the emails that everyone has been getting from a like fake account so I got like flooded with emails I'm talking about over a hundred of you guys have told me that you guys received a message from a Rosita Applebaum saying that you guys won the giveaway and I'm really truly sorry I know a lot of you guys entered that like information onto a website that was fraudulent and not me like it's not my account if you click that user that wrote to you that person has like two subscribers it has the same name as me and the same picture which is freakishly scary and i'm so upset that you guys got messaged a lot of you told me you were so happy that you won which really breaks my heart um but i am gonna mention the winners right now again i'm really sorry for everyone who thought they won it was spam i know a lot of you guys got it i feel really really horrible about it i reported the account I wish I can just put an end to that type of thing. It's so common with YouTubers to get that like fake account messaging other people. It's just all really upsetting and horrible. But um, yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention that. I'm just going to pull up the names right now. So the first winner is Jesenia Gonzalez. And the second winner is Megan R. Don't be discouraged if you didn't win this giveaway. I will have a huge giveaway up on my channel. I'm trying to do like five or maybe even like ten winners if possible because I just want to give back to all of you. I see you guys when you comment more than once. Like I notice your icon. I'm like, that's my boo. Like I always notice you guys. But just know that I appreciate you and I love you and I wanted to address that fake winner email and the fact that I was gone so hopefully you enjoyed this long long video and I will see you in the next one don't worry Rosita's back I got you girls <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one bye guys